Alright, so this is the first step when inserting nothing or one node into the red black tree and it starts out red and the final, since it's the root, it has to be black and so it's converted to black or we do a recoloring of black. So now we go to step two and let's say we insert a three and since we insert a three it goes to the right of two because uh, it is greater than and as we can see the height is one when we're at three for the black height and when we go up one more to two it's still one and for uh, the null over here which is black as well we go up and then that's one as well so now we go to step three step three we want to insert one we go to the left of two and it still maintains our black height so again satisfying all the properties of a red black tree so if we go to four we can see that it violates two double reds right here so because it violates those two we have to do some kind of of conversion to make sure that it becomes a valid BST or RB, RBT. <laughs> Anyways, now we can see that both one and three were both red, so we just move it up one level. But the root may not be red, as we know what a red black tree can be. So all we have to do is recolor the black. And as we can see, we still maintain all the proper heights uh, for the black height. So let's go to step five. Step five, when we insert five, we get, again, a double red. So um, what we need to do is a rotation. And that rotation needs to happen because this black is a null or the null is a black so we can't just move the four red up to three so we need to do that rotation so you need to make fours right subtree point to left subtree of three because it's greater than three but um, we're going to be uh, rotating around this pivot point here as seen in this step or, sorry, it's this one right here. And so we pivot and we move four up. But because of that pivot and that rotation, we did it in such a way that it's a two, three, four tree. And so that allows us to move that four that was red to be a black and move that three down. And now we want to keep it that way because it will keep the proper height uh, on the left side and the right side's uh, black height because if we try to change these two to black and move that up to red for that four what happens is then we get a height of three on the right subtree for two and for the left subtree then we have a height, black height of two so we don't want to do that and so that's how we keep them even going to step six if we insert seven in <clears throat> we can see that again it violates the double red and yeah my black ink kind of ran out so now it's a green red <laughs> but, uh, tree anyways we'll just assume the green is black anyways because of the red be being three and five here we can just move it up one and again we can see that it satisfies both the height um, our black height because here there's a null so it's one and now it's two and it's two and now it's one or nothing one and two so that's it for right now and hopefully I can figure this next problem out